could juggle. Looks very possible. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to episode 8. Here we are just now finishing doing some earth forming. My goodness, was it a sweaty day today. Really, really got worked. So, real excited to be done with the earth forming. And next step is to frame out the footer and go headstrong on that. My buddy and I finished doing floor panels over the weekend, or earlier this week, and... Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Floor's all done. Need to get all that soil out of the back there and stage those floor panels there. We're not going to bother with those for a little while because we got to get this foundation and stem wall all the way up so we have something to put the floor on. So this episode should, hopefully, if everything goes right, include framing out the footer, talking about where the drain is going to go all the way around, Throwing some rebar and some rocks in there and pour in the footer. It's raining again. Look at that. Are you serious? There's so much water. where the lowest point is I went around and measured it and kind of the lowest point is about three inches right there whereas the lowest point over there was about three inches over here we've got more like a foot but this is the lowest area right next to the sump pump so it's just gonna be pretty thick right here and about nine ten inches at the most most everywhere else so I'm gonna mark a three inch line on my uh, backer boards here and line that line up with that. Papa Rooney dropped off some gravel for me. Thank you very much. I've been throwing these rocks in here. So laborsome. Oh my gosh, got a, got a little stack of them over there. This is gonna infill a little bit of the concrete and give me something to set the rebar on, so. Yep, let's get sweaty. Good golly, just about every step of this process is sweaty. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm throwing this rebar out that I've had saved back here for like years. I made a, actually made a video of me collecting this. I went up to where uh, they're building at the time they took ripped down a hotel to build this U-Haul. And I went up to the guy in the white truck when there's these huge bundles 
of concrete and rebar from the bulldozer. And I was like, hey, can I take some of this rebar? And he was like, in what, the PT Cruiser that you're driving? And I was like, yeah. He was like, sure, whatever you want, take it. I was like, nice, yes! And that was, that was a while ago that I made that video. I'll put a link to that video down in the description, but yeah, so that rebar has just been sitting there for the last couple of years. Just threw it out here. Now it's going in there. Let's go. Hey there, what's up? We are done with gravel and rocks. Move in rocks has become my least favorite thing to do. Thought digging was, nope, it's moving rocks. But we're done with that. We've got all these columns of bricks right here that I'm gonna tie rebar around. We've got some gravel on the inside of the footer for some drainage. Kind of one of my goals in this little series is to convey, I guess like how easy and hard it is sometimes to general contract your own house. So right now I talked to the, con I just talked to the concrete guy and he was t or, uh, telling me that the inspector might not like all of these rocks in here. So my cortisol level and my heart went up a little bit and I was like, okay, I need to talk to my engineer about this. The way I'm thinking about it structurally, these rock pillars with reballer all around them feels pretty structural to me. Um, but it is a little strange. It's basically just like I'm using large chairs for the rebar um, that should all just oh, come together and be this nice, solidified, monolithic, huge footer. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on the emotional level here as soon as I find out more. All right, I've been sitting here for like an hour thinking about all this. And this is just a big reflection on how I like to operate. Sometimes I think, hey, this is gonna work out. We're charging forward. And sometimes I charge forward too fast. And as much as I think that these concrete blocks are gonna be, would be structurally fine, feel free to comment on that issue down in the comments. I did go ahead and ask chat after calling the inspectors. The inspectors said that they don't really like foreign objects, which concrete blocks would be considered a foreign object. Sometimes it just takes me asking chat to be like, chat, here's my situation, what do I do? And you know what chat said? Chat said, take them out. Take all of the foreign objects out, including these big blocks that I put in there. And, whoa, it doesn't sound fun. I spent so much time moving these. But I think it's gonna be creative how I use these big blocks to do some hardscaping down in the hole later, so. <sighs> Everything's gonna be all right. Are you filming? All right. All right, after that little curve fluffle, we are back on track. Starting off by tamping all this slightly disturbed soil. Ah! And then after that, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut some of these chairs up. Always make sure you're wearing shorts. I'm gonna space these every two feet out down there, and then we'll put rebar on it, and then more rebar. Whoa! Twenty to twenty-four inches of overlap on this nice brand new rebar. Still using some of my scraps to kind of make some hoops. But otherwise looking like it's gonna pass inspection. Let's go. Gentlemen and lady. I see you. Thanks for watching. This morning we had a inspection for the footer. Pretty much passed. He said that my four foot by four foot pads in the middle are supposed to be five foot by five foot. 
which is plenty. So I just redid those, put some more rebar in there, and just going to have him recheck it. And we should be good to pass inspection and start pouring concrete. Woohoo! So hopefully next clip is uh, dumping some concrete in this hole. We've got three number five rebar going all the way around. Uh, I do have some of this uh, little wiggly stuff in the middle. That is way bigger than specced. Not way bigger, you know. I'm supposed to use 18 inch grid <coughs> of number four. And that's number five. Actually, some of that's number six. That one might be number nine. Look at that fatty. Honk. So I spray painted a line all the way around the outside so I can sort of tell where to screed the concrete to. Doesn't need to really be perfect for the footer. So yeah, hopefully next clip is pouring concrete. Yeah, yeah. This has been mostly my job when I'm on the site with him. He's like, all right, now you take footage. So Tommy and his friends and family pour concrete and the footer. Woo! Feels so nice to get some lead on that. And next video, I believe, is going to be wall panels or the block wall. Who knows? Hit that subscribe button to find out what's next. <laughs>